Welcome back to our newest episode, week two of the NFL, week three of college football. And uh, how's it going, Scott? Good. What's happening, buddy? Nothing. We were talking off air, and I think it's kind of fun how our show is the Friday after, and I think we've already we've already we've already overreacted, so we're better now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like our, yeah. I think I, we got it out of us. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> that's the way I feel because. I was overreacting on a lot of things. I mean, we'll get into all that, but I like there was some things, not just not even just that Jets Bills game. There was some overreactions that were when you really think about it. Um, we'll see Everywhere. what happens. Um, why don't we talk about this right off the bat? Because I know we've got a lot of games to cover. Deion Sanders. Me and you went back and forth on Deion, right? The other day, mm-hmm. kind of online a little bit. Um, Deion, here's this stupidity from Jay Norville. Um, he talks about that. It's okay, good. I yeah, I understand what he's trying to say. Of course, he's t- he's telling you the guy's not mature. Um, so, <laughs> what did you bet on that game after you saw that, Scott? <laughs> so I decided to go in, and I went. I took the point spread up to uh, Colorado minus thirty. And I threw like, I threw like, which brought the, you know, it up to plus 200. So I put 30 bucks on it. I figure I said, you know what? Cause I don't gamble a lot when I bet I gamble in small amounts, but uh, I said, yeah, something tells me uh, some a, a team's going to get their ass kicked pretty good t- tomorrow. So I want to be a part of that. Yeah. He's given out, yeah. weren't they all wearing sunglasses or something? He gave them all out. To the well, he, no, he gave them to McAfee. McAfee. Oh, oh, you're talking about his kids? Yeah, the kids too. Oh, I think kids, did you give them all to them. I didn't. I don't yeah. know. I didn't do that. They're all wearing sunglasses. I imagine they're going to be wearing them on the sideline. Oh, yeah, I think they were wearing them at the end of the game, right? For yeah. their interviews and shit. Yeah. Okay, I did see that. Yes, I remember now. So I was uh, really getting sick of Dion the yeah. other day, and I was just like thinking, I can't take this. He's two and zero. He's done nothing. He hasn't won anything. He's won nothing. He didn't even win in the HS whatever you know the Jackson State league i or not that i recall i he's won nothing he's he's beat he beat a tcu team that was 16 good but you know obviously different team and they last week whoever the hell it was i can't remember who'd he beat <laughs> he beat somebody who was nebraska terrible nebraska this week he's going to beat the hell out of out of the rams of colorado state in state rivalry but like i don't know i i like him And then he reminds me of why I didn't like him in the past. And it goes back to what you said the other week, last week. Why do the other coaches hate, but dislike him? I think this is, I think Norville kind of, you know what I mean? Kind of says it. I get it. You know? He's not, because they're, he's not old school, I guess. And he won't act old school to satisfy them. And they won't accept that kind of change. And he's not going to accept the way they are. So this is honestly going to get even more entertaining to watch as it goes, to be honest with you, because neither side's going to give in this situation. I don't see that happening. He's been, yeah, he's an I mean, I think he's, trying to, I think he's trying to relate more with the kids. That's what I think that it is. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, maybe we, he's acting like that will, uh, will um, I don't know, maybe it'll get the kids a little more pumped up or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it, it's, again, again, it goes to ESPN, to them just crowning. I mean, in, 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 I mean, obviously it's a story. So it's, yes, it's a great story. It's a fun story, but it goes beyond because, you know, they're talking already about him being in the, you know, he could be in the, in the playoff. He could be, I don't know. I mean, that's a little much. I mean, uh, already he's two and oh, he's going to the playoff. That means he's going to, I, I just. It, it's it's over that. it's overwhelming. Okay, let me ask you this: This kid, the quarterback. Yeah. Right. How much out of the out of these two games you you've obviously seen some of his play? How much better is his son seem to be than pretty much every other quarterback that's playing? He's 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 not better than I don't think he's better than Penix who plays for Washington or he's not like the top quarterback playing right. I'm not right? thinking he's winning Heisman. 
I, I can't see him getting the Heisman voting. I mean, he could maybe they would throw him in there. <laughs> the numbers are incredible in the first two games. I mean, he's got Heisman numbers for, you know, because you figure there's like the guy, Caleb, I forget his name, for USC. I'm terrible with names. You got Penix with Washington. What's his name? Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams with USC. Oh, that's right, Robbins here. That's the one everybody wants. Um, I ass- I assume they're ranked. So they're all, so they're ranked by how's the high school quarterback top quarterbacks ranked? Not just by stats, obviously. I wonder. That's a real good question because I don't really know how they do their yeah, how they become five star recruits. I really wonder because I mean stats in high school are kind of. Unbel- you know what I mean? Sometimes they're playing guys that were like us when we were in high school and they're just steamrolling them. I mean, right, I just, right. I, it's a good question. I mean, I'm sure the, like, where we live in Western New York, high school football isn't that great, right? But you remember where you were in Pittsburgh, it was unbelievable. Oh, I mean, that, everything out there. Yeah, Ohio, Texas. It seems like that's where all these guys are from, Florida. Uh, good question. The kid, I didn't know what to expect of him because – you know, at Jackson State, you didn't really see much. You know, you just didn't see much. And then you just think, okay, well, it's Jackson State, and they're playing Grambling, and they're playing other teams like that. And the way he dismantled TCU was impressive because TCU, no matter who was there or who wasn't there, it's the same coaching staff that was in the championship game last year. You know, so sure, right. Um, That's a big deal. He's. I, I don't even know. Is he a sophomore? I think he is. I don't even think he's a. I don't think he's a senior. Or a junior. I don't even. Rob, you have any idea if Sanders is a uh, kid? I think you're right. I think he's, he's like a sophomore, right? Yeah. So, man, he's got a lot of room to grow, too. I'm sure he does. Oh, I'm sure of that. Does he play in the NFL? I wonder. I don't know his size either. I don't really know how big the kid is. Robin, look it up for me when you get a chance. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what his size is either. Robin's got a good. Robin got a new phone. So that's outstanding because now she's quick here. You, you know, now when we say, you know, it might not happen at 630, we could find out here in about 30 seconds. It's, it, she had basically a flip phone almost. Oh, wow. Yeah, Resist- yeah. She's a resistor, huh? Yeah, just, you know what? Robin <laughs> Robin hates technology. You should have saw way back when in 03 with, with um, in 02 with email. What a scene that was to try to get her linked up to Yahoo so we could do fantasy football. Holy <laughs> fuck. We're <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it and just angry at it and fucking vitriol just well, whatever all right what is he i don't know what his name is shakur i don't know what the hell his name is. oh this is the wrong one. there's another G- what, how many G- shadur sanders yeah, shadur right? or something right yeah find him for us anyhow i while you're looking at that i just all i'm saying is i like him and i like what he brings i guess what i don't like is there is a feeling, and I could see why other teams would feel disrespect after games and in press conferences. Not so much on the field. And that's why that guy from Jackson, when you talk to the guy from Grambling, didn't shake his hand. He's a junior. He's a junior. Does it give his height? Uh, he's six foot two. Oh, wow. Six two. 215. 215. He's perfect. He's, co- he's pro size, really. Yeah. He could be in the NFL. What in shock? Why not? That's major um, division one. He was the huh? he was the offensive player of the year for his conference last year. In, obviously, yeah. What do you think, Scott? He makes an he goes he gets drafted. How is he not? Yeah, he has you to think be. take him, John. What's that? Who do you think would take him? Ooh, who um, do you think would try to chomp at the bit to get the opportunity to take that kid? Atlanta. Really? Um, I think the Falcons would love to have him. Really? Mm-hmm. Bring back the whole thing. The Sanders. I assume he'd be more like the Cowboys. They would love him too, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. I'm just thinking Atlanta because you go, but we can go back in time and we can have Andre Risen and everybody. Oh, oh my God. Those were the days, huh? Andre Risen. He was awesome. Those girls that had one eye under their thing and they burned down the house or how they did. I burned all of his sneakers up in the bathtub and let the house burn the mansion down. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Andre Risen was running around in there too for some reason. Uh, those guys were lunatics. They, oh, what a different world. Could never yeah. do that now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All right. 
why don't we do this? We're done with him. Um, cause he gets enough time on ESPN. That's for sure. And we'll be able to see him tomorrow. Cause I think game day is there. Um, they uh, are. Yeah, you know. cause Max, he was there today. That's where he was. He was at the yeah. rock was there. Oh yeah. The uh, rock. He had the rock on. He had on, uh, Dion. He had on, uh, shit. I was listening and I wasn't watching. So I'm trying to remember who it was. Maybe that was it. Yeah, you can watch that anytime too. The Rock was on for like an hour, dude. Oh. You want to hear the the rest? Do you like wrestling? I well, I do the podcast, so I know what's going on. Yeah, duh. Obviously, that was a dumb yep. question. The Rock said that uh, I, I don't know which wrestle. I can't remember which wrestle maybe it was, but it was not that long ago. Like Thirty nine. There was supposed to be a, a bloodlines match set up between him and Roman Reigns. It was. It was. He said it was that close, and they just couldn't get it. Wow! And he was like, "Oh!" So he's talking about possibly doing it here in the future. That was just kind of a little announcement, I guess, for wrestling people. It would have been a huge one for those two guys. Yeah, uh, you say it to see how serious it is. I mean, it's, he seemed pretty sincere about it. Let's um, let's go to uh, real fast because I don't want to stay on it because we don't overreact on this podcast because we we come into this like you know, five days later, six days later. So last Mm -hmm. night, real quick, Thursday night game, which kicked off week three, ended Mm -hmm. up being closer than it was when I was watching because I did, I unfortunately fell asleep um, because I was surprised. You know, I got Jalen Hurts and I have Devontae Smith. Thank you for your help on picking them here. We did it live on the show. I have him. I have Mr. Smith as well, by the way. So they had great days. So it was nice. They had really good days. And they won, what, 30, was it, 38? What was the final? 38-24? Yeah, no. Uh, no, it was... Because uh, it was under six. 31-24, I think, is what it was. It was. It was, still wasn't that far apart. Because the line was six. I feel like it was 34-28. It covered, didn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, I think the, like, cause the line yeah. was six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or was it, it was that earlier in the week, wasn't it? It was, it yeah. Down. Right. Yeah. I didn't do that. I was, wasn't paying that much attention to it. I was doing the prop betting on that. So the Eagles win again. You know, they kind of righted the ship a little because it was tough. In New England, they almost – they could have lost. They don't look good. What's going on with them? A lot of injuries. On D- I know there was a ton of guys out on defense. When it was run – I get it. I get it. I get it. But run after run after run after run after run after run. And it just kept going them, yeah. and going. And I'm like – this is super boring. I'm going to go to bed in like five minutes and shut this off. I swear to yeah. God. I was yeah. like, if that's what they're going to do, if they do that again, I get it. You can do that. And it works, of course, sometimes. I mean, you're going to get – you keep doing it, eventually you're going to get your yards. 12 and, out of that, that one drive, they did 12 rushes in 15 yeah, plays, I believe. I was losing my mind, dude. And can I dude, say I, something I, else? When they're on the goal line – on a pass since this. Yeah. And I'm like, you've been stuck yeah. on 60 yards forever. Yeah, he was like two for 60. Yeah. When when they do that thing at the goal line, I don't know why every team doesn't do that. I don't know how that could be stopped. When they push, two guys come and push from the back, they just go. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how they stop it either. Unless somebody so, gets hurt, unless somebody really gets hurt. I would do that on every short yardage I had all over the field. I, would just, it's, I don't not? know why the NFL doesn't stop it, because I think it's a horrible play. Maybe they will next year. Rugby, like they say it is. It's just like rugby. I don't I don't get why that's all it's allowed. I get it, but I it's just not fair. Well, yeah, that's I mean, like when they fair. sometimes allow the running back to be pushed. And you know he's not actually running because if it wasn't for the push of the offensive lineman in the back, he'd be stopped. Right. I he's mean, almost- I might have benefited from that before, so I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't really care for it myself. Yeah, I would probably think I would not allow that kind of leverage. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff but whatever i mean i would do that on the goal line so those guys the eagles are two and oh but they haven't looked great um i know there was def- i don't remember the names of the people but i know there's like three or four defensive players that were starters that weren't playing jalen carter looked okay i thought i i i noticed oh, he looked fantastic yeah i noticed him it's so good big yeah. big guy perfect He's um, only get better dude yeah that. that's kind of scary huh yeah, it's scary and it's aggravating in the same because I le- I actually made my wife who wasn't really paying attention. I said, I said to her, "Hey, hey, 
stop what you're doing for a minute. And I just want you to watch, cause she knows what football she's watched it with me before. She's, she's not football stupid. She, got, she knows what's going on. So I said, watch, I can't remember. What is he? 98. Yeah. I think, he's I, 98. think he's 98. I said, watch 98 on this next play. Just, just watch what he does. And he got stopped kind of quick. You know, he got, what's called got it out of his hands fast, but it was a couple of plays later. We're still sitting here. And she was like, wow. And I'm like, that's ridiculous how fast he can push people back and just go past them. Like the moves they do with their arms and shit and swinging. It's just amazing to see somebody of that size just manhandle people. It angers me. Yes, Robin? Speaking of coming closer. He should have been, I mean, talent-wise, he should have been a top three pick if Mm -hmm. it wasn't for... The accident. Yeah, the accident. I mean... things go completely differently. He ends up on a completely different team. The fucking Bears, man. Come on. Yeah, they were foolish. Passed on him? Oh, they passed right on him. Uh, Because they were number seven, he was number eight. And that was the thing. We're going to get Jalen Carter. The people wanted you. I remember watching this podcast, uh, the Bears huddle thing. It's a pretty good one. It's it's all they were saying. They were fucking high-fiving. We're going to get – and they just were devastated. I was devastated. Because it reminded me of Aaron Donald all over again. I was going to say, he's going to be one of those dudes. He's going to be on a defense like like the Bears, or if he was on the Bills. Like, he changes the whole game yeah. for your defense. You can see that. Yeah. He's amazing. I can't wait to watch and see how, better he, how much better he gets, because it's going to be – yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. So then you had – what? He was, he was dominant like that in college, too, Scott. But yeah. remember the playoff game against when, Ohio State? And he couldn't go. I said this on here. He couldn't stay on the field. It looked like he couldn't breathe. He was off more than he was on. Right. And oh, I thought you were saying that. You yeah. did say that on here. I remember you saying it. And I didn't know. And that pro- maybe it had to do with the anxiety issues, shit that was going on with this accident. He was in I the middle he of he was in the he had just gone to turn himself in and then comes back to play, you know, all that shit. Yeah. So maybe that's what was going on. But he looked terrible. But before that, before that, he was dominant. Yes, he, he was. I mean, no, he was Will Anderson. I mean, Will Anderson, right? Was he's better than Will Anderson? Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. He's so fuckers. Yeah. Um. Anyways, that's the story of the Bears' life. Um. Let's talk about the Jets and Bills for a minute. Um, because we're not going to overreact. Because on Tuesday, on the Monday after, wild overreactions on the Chiefs, the Bengals, and the Bills. So oh, I think the Chiefs and the Bills are definitely, in my mind, get feel good after this week. What do you think? Yeah, I think this is their uh, – their, they're not, we're not going to go all into home opener. I mean, it's at home. I mean, I just don't. It's going against Jimmy G and the Raiders. Line's a little I'm high, not, but I'm not so that I'm concerned gonna... about it. I'm just not. <clears throat> I think I think Leonard Floyd looks fantastic. He did. Yeah, he did. I think I think some other guys did some like when Milano did what he did and then got the penalty. I was so pissed off. I'm like, don't be that. Don't do stupid shit. Yeah. Right. I mean, just don't. You're not that good, man. Don't do that. And when, especially when they weren't winning and he did that, I mean, I'm just like, you know, when they weren't playing that good and he did it. Right. I don't right. like that stuff. But I, you know, I you like, know, I, I think we're going to, I think it's going to be a pretty good game. I think we're going to handle business, though, in the end. I'm, I'll be there with my daughter oh, and the fire and meet him and the boys. I saw the James he's Cook. Out. I saw the jersey you got ready for the opener. Yeah, yeah, gonna make, yeah my James Cook jersey, man. Nice. So I think they will get health. They'll be fine. I mean, I and then that was like the perfect Aaron Rodgers thing, telling people to relax. Remember, you would tell people here <laughs> in Western New York, just settle down. It's all right. I mean, it did suck. We talked all about that before the show. You know, they, they should have. There's things they could have done within the game offensively. Maybe it just went, you know, but didn't. I'm concerned with, and we spoke prior to prior to coming on about this, and it's the fact that no one, someone needs to be able to calm them down. Now, I don't know if Dable was that guy. I don't know, but it seemed like he didn't have games like this when Dable was here. He's only had these since he left. Right. So 
he had that year. He was so accurate. Now it's just going to shit. He's like, he's just, he, dude, it's just, it's like he's in a parking lot. It, literally, like, with his buddies and just seeing how far he could throw it. Run as far as you can, man. You know, I, I don't get it. Yeah. Stokes' interceptions he threw were ridiculous. A couple of them. They were ridiculous. You know, if, if it bounces off a guy's hands and it gets interested, that's not, 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 not them, not you. I mean, well, you know, but when you're just careless, when you're winning, you're the first, winning. The first one felt like a punt. So I was like, all right, it's a punt. They got it well, on the floor. Yeah, but it wasn't. But it, it wasn't. It was. And that's why, that's why I'm like, okay, the outcome ended up being all right, yeah. but that was not what he was trying to do. But then he did it again, and that's when Diggs uh, tried to chop it out of his hands. The one, the out route was a tough one, because that was actually like a bad, kind of a bad throw, what happened there. Which he always um, has. So, I don't know. You can't take away, as we've always said, you can't take away from him his that thing. If you take away that, oh, yeah, I know. call it, um, he doesn't get hurt, really. I mean, he got the hurt, but it wasn't because of running when he got hurt in the arm. It was because someone sacked him. Dude, when he ran down the sideline and should have yeah. went out, and he instead you saw him, you you practically saw him make the conscious decision. Oh, he did. Yes, he he was going out of bounds, and then he went. You know what? I'm hitting now. Yeah. Oh, like a battering <laughs> ram, and I'm like, dude, are you? And then that's when you saw it. That's when the camera went to McDermott, and McDermott's going, yeah, Place, you dipshit, stop doing that. You know. And yeah, then dude. Michael Irvin went ballistic on, oh, you know, don't do it. Dude, shut up. Just shut <laughs> up. So, so I, don't know I mean, the Bills are going to be – they'll be fine. Dalton Kincaid looked good. I mean, he caught some balls and made some after the – he actually made some runs after the catch, I thought. Um, he so better he looked, be fine or you bench him for a game. Yeah. That'll, that'll take – that'll knock that ego down a peg and make him straighten his shit out. I am not screwing around, dude. Yeah. Yeah. At some point – if it gets out of control and he can't control it, you have to do something to change it. No, I don't lose games. I don't know what that is, but he he gets me nervous, man. He's not that complete sugar high Josh anymore, but he is, right? right. He, he it's still in him. You can't. You can try to suppress it, but you're never going to get it out of him. It's still going to spring out, which it does, and that's and that shit right there. Do we know how old he is? Do we remember? Do we anyone know he's 26, I believe. 26 now? I it's funny. So. I've said this a million times. There are mirror images of the Maple Leafs, who I, I love, obviously, and they're very, very similar. It's very weird because sometimes they're both in the same age group, the stars. They're all in the same age. Like, or it's like, oh, my God, they're still kids. But, oh, no, they're not. 27. Right, right. He's 27 years old now. Like, like Austin Matthews, they're in the same age group. And it's like they feel like they're still kids. They feel like they're they're brand new and all that shit. And then you look at it and like, no, they're not. And he um I'll say this. I'm gonna say a nice thing. I there is so many teams, including the one I root for, that would love to have them. So you just they gotta just figure out how to maybe it's McDermott's gotta maybe that is the ultimate thing eventually someday, is the whole bunch of them gotta go. You know? Seven thousand times McDermott's part of the So I think he's part of the problem. One PM we might as well start on the games because then we could talk about the teams. As okay. I yeah, I'm sorry, we spent a little too much time on it, but that's all right. No, no, because we're, we're it's perfect timing. We got the first game I've written down is the Raiders at Buffalo. Buffalo minus eight and a half. Um, I the the Bills will. I kind of be surprised if they don't cover. I guess. What are your thoughts on covering? Uh, gosh. I don't know if you I'm know, ready to bet them, but I don't know if I'm ready to bet them like that. Just due to they've yeah. got to do some, they they got to cover the spread. A couple. I I would bet a money line, which is probably not very good. Put it in so, a parlay, yeah. Yeah, unless you're going to wrap it into a parlay some way, bring your odds up. Other than that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's a lot of points. It's a lot of points, and they could clobber them. It would not shock me if I saw this game end up like the Eagles did last night, thirty-four twenty-eight, or they beat them hey, thirty-one. Man. Three. Is Chandler Jones even around, or is he still not there? I don't think he's there. Check Chandler Jones, if you wouldn't mind, for a second. Just double check real fast. I don't think he's there. Because he had that mental health incident, and you haven't heard anything about him since. I'll have Robin look him up real quick on, on Google. I, it's a I'm good curious. question. That's a big part of that defense that's missing, and yeah. I'm just curious. I don't I'm, think he's even coming back. 
But they have we'll poor, to me, it's terrible coaching and with the Raiders. I don't like Josh McDaniels. I don't like any of it. I God, he just fails, huh? Yeah, I'm not, not a I'm not a Garoppolo fan. I don't know how he's going to handle the pressure like they put on Rodgers. I don't see how he does. He may not make it out of the first half until we get well, to see the other quarterback. What is it about Josh McDaniels? Team's just not being yeah. good. Is it? What do you think it is? That's a good Did question. You run around he, trying to be Bill Belichick or something, or you know what he reminds me of? And this is a college reference, but it's Lane Kiffin when he left um, uh, Nick Saban. There's just something about these guys, and Lane Kiffin's arrogant. I don't see that in Josh McDaniel, but I don't know, man. I, there's some guys that just aren't head coaches. I mean, I think he'd be a great offensive coordinator somewhere, probably. Like throw him on the Bills. But we were just talking about offensive coordinators. I bet you'd do well. There's something about being the head coach that he's just – I don't know why he gets so many chances. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. But I think we're all – I think we're going to pass on this game as far as bet- – what, what's yeah, Chandler Jones? He, or Chandler, he, whatever that was named. Yeah, Chandler Jones mm-hmm. isn't going to play this week. No play. Yeah. He's out. Jones is out. So let's Yeah, pass. Well, he might be out for a while. Yeah. That's a shame. That hurts. That, yeah, that hurts. Him and the next game is another team that everyone got all shook up over, but we got to remember Kelsey didn't play. And, I, and I'll keep saying this just to their defense to Darius Tony. If he does not, if he, if he just, instead of, if he would just bat the ball down, they win the game. So he's kind he of a ball. He he's, he's a bum and should, should be let go. But yeah. either way, we got the Chiefs minus three and a half. This is a tougher game than the Bills game because they're going to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. I don't see Kansas City going on two. I just don't. I don't either. What's the line? Three and a half in Jackson. This is tough, though. This is no. This isn't a joke. What are your thoughts on this tough, tough game, Scott? I, I think Kelsey's going to come back, but I know he's not a hundred percent. So I wonder if he comes back limited. Gosh, it's what three and a half. Three and a half right now. I, I thought it would be like two and a half. I feel like I hate the half point. Always. Because you get to Kansas City wins by three. I, I think that's a good win. That's a fine win for them because they're in, you know, this will be a tough game. Jacksonville plays Kansas City tough. I like Jacksonville with the points, man. I, I, I hear you. The three and a half because it's going to be close. Yeah. That's I the only reason I would take that because of that half point. Yeah, I'm going to. Robin, I kind of like the point. I think it's going to be a close game. The half point. In Jacksonville, three and a half. They can, yeah. you know, they're tough. This is not, this is a team that's, I think they're better than the Lions. Oh, yeah. So, I think, so too. I think yeah, I'm, um, I, I like that. We're going to consensus. Jones and Kelsey are both going to play. That's the, oh, that's right. They got, they got their Jones back. So that's good for them. Mm-hmm. They needed him badly. Um, The team that became the greatest of all time, the Detroit Lions, are at home against Seattle, who got whipped by the Rams, which was a shocker. And the line <laughs> I have is Detroit minus five. Detroit. Just, the team that became the greatest team of all yeah. time. <laughs> and then Seattle lost in a weird way. I didn't see that coming against the Rams. No. Me neither. Yeah. I would take the points in this one, too. I was thinking that, too, the points. What's the spread? It, we got Seattle plus five. I think they probably – they might win outright, they cover, right? They might too. Yeah. I think they cover. Yeah, there's no real injuries. Everyone seems to be okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a I, – I don't know. I Did Did you watch any of that game? I did not, the Rams. I did not. I just didn't expect it to be good. That's why I didn't watch any of it. It was shocking, and it wasn't good because the Rams killed them. So let, let's consensusly pick Seattle. Yeah. Um, Here's a game of another team. The, the, the AFC was weird, right? The NFC kind of held their ground. The Chargers lose in a great game with the Dolphins. That was an amazing game. They're headed to Tennessee, where Tennessee is plus three. Um, I don't know what to think. I like the Chargers. On the road. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, man. One. Oh, it's tough. I think I like Tennessee with the points. Yeah, this one's not going to be a consensus pick, so we're not going to give it out because I, <laughs> I I'm just not cons- I I'm not ready to even select it. I if Tennessee could get a half point, I'd really like them. But oh, I would I, love them with a half point. I think point. this is going to be a tight I'd game. Like 
I like him with the points. Eckler, oh, by the way, Eckler's not playing. He's doubtful also. I think that's why the line is what it is. I think the line would be. He's doubtful right now, and I, that means he, he's not playing if he's doubtful. Yeah. So That's good for us in fantasy. Yes, it is. We will skip this one, but I think we got Robin liking the Chargers. You like the points in Tennessee. I would love the points if I could get another one or maybe an actual like to four. Maybe buy some points or something. <laughs> hey, you know I mean? alternate point spread there. Yeah, yeah, alternate points. Now let's go to a team that no one's talking about, and it's kind of annoying. They were so bad. Joe Burrow was a mess. No one speaks, but the, the Bengals were horrible. And they are now sitting at home, minus three and a half, against Baltimore. What an interesting game, right? Um, I think that if the Bengals are anything, they win. They got to win this game at home, right? If they, I'll tell you what, man, if they don't, let's just say they don't and they stink yeah. it up again. Man, oh, man, people are going to start getting loud in Cincinnati. They, as they, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean I, I, did you watch that game? I didn't. I, I, I didn't, didn't either. I, remember I, was, I, the Bears. I was. I'm trying to remember what the hell I was watching. I must have had. Sometimes the red zone on, on something. Yeah, yeah. I was not red watching red the Bears. Red. No, I. You know what I was doing? I was red zoning it. I had the red zone on, and I was just watching. I was watching the game, but I just don't off the top of my head. I don't remember which one it was. I was bopping back and forth around and stuff. But would you guys be under the impression that I don't have any? I don't think Baltimore's good. J.K. Dobbins is out. So again, sadly, that that was another. Oh my god! He scored a touchdown. The next thing you know, as he tears his Achilles. So. um that guy just has had no luck. Well, see, I, can I can I say this? Now, I didn't foresee or ever hope that anybody would get hurt. But I just said, man, I just got this feeling that ball. Remember, I just have got, I've told you, we've talked about it all offseason. I just don't think they're going to be as good as people think they are. Oh, I don't either. Sometimes all these little things kill them off, like knock them out. You know what I mean? Because even OBJ didn't really have that great of a game. Does he got an issue with his ankle already? I don't even think he had many snaps, really. What's that, Robin? If I'm not mistaken, Scott, I think you called it that one of their major players was going to get hurt when we broke down the team. Yeah. Because it always happens. Gonna... Yeah, you thought Baltimore was going to be good. Yeah, yeah, I thought they were actually going to put it all together this year. And I remember you saying that you thought that one of the major players was going to get hurt. Yeah. Well, I thought, yeah, I thought it was either going to be JK or yeah, one of the three, because they all are coming back from being hurt. Right. And they're all, well, yeah, they're all so injury prone. Could yeah. we consensusly all pick Cincinnati, you think? Or no? I will. I would. I would. We'll give them a roll. We, we will put them out there for the people at three and a half. Yeah. Which is my faith in the fact that I don't think they're as bad as what they just showed last week. I don't think they are either. I think Burrow's calf injury was an issue last week, and I think the further I think removed... they better learn to get the ball out of his hands quick. Yeah. And they can't. That's right. it. It's going to have to change the – maybe the offense changes a little. They were talking about that. I mean, there was rain, but whatever. I don't yeah. want to hear it about the rain. I don't care. I mean, yeah, see, I don't watch them. Conditions. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if – so when I see the numbers and I see how many hits he takes, which I think takes a lot of hits. But – I just so I half the time I don't know if it's him holding the ball too long, if it's yeah. the offensive line being a sieve, you know what I mean? A combination of both. I, I don't I don't know. You, you ever would, keep, never watch that much of him? I know, me too. It's the same way. I'm always you know, because there's just so many games you can watch. Right, and, right. Um, and we'll go with the Bengals. We, I I because I think everyone's gonna get healthy this week. I think all the teams that are yeah. I mean, they may win, they may not cover, but I think the teams that have that will win will win. Buffalo, Kansas City, Cincinnati win. Whether they cover or not is another story. Um, King Kong now. Here they come. Uh, the Green Bay Packers are at Atlanta. Atlanta is minus one and a half. Boy, um, I got a lot to say on this next game. But as far as Green Bay goes, they're still going to be without Christian Watson. I think Dobbs is hurt. Aaron, jo Aaron Jones is hurt. I don't think he's going to be do well, Aaron Jones. But because it, his his – that was pretty – Yeah. you know, that, that hamstring is going to be a problem. Um, look, I want to say Atlanta – I want Atlanta to win this game, but I'm I'm going to go with Green Bay in this one. 
It's just, they just have to win the game. What do you think? I 100% agree. I do too. Yeah. I, I like Green Bay as well. Yeah, they're getting not a because Green Bay is good. Just because... I think Green Bay is good though, Robin. I think, think they got a good defense. Good. I think they're okay. I, I I don't think they're that. Good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're in the category of. No, no. I think I, I think people try to. Right? Oh, they want to put them in it. Yeah. Well, they're they good enough. They're, they're good, good enough. enough. Jordan Love right? to be Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Well, Gary, that guy, they're off. they that one um linebacker. He'll be interesting because when I watched him play against the Bears, he only rushed the passer. And uh, he's good at it. His last that Gary, whatever his yeah. last name is. All right, we're gonna go to this game, and this game, I'll be the only one watching it um, in America, probably. <laughs> the Bears are at Tampa, and Tampa's minus Not two and a one. half. Well, you're in this household. Um, Dan Werder is a guy who's been a Bears reporter forever, and he said something real interesting today that I want to repeat. He said back in 2020, when the Bears were going to play the Saints, he was at Hallis Hall, which is where they do their practicing and everything. And he said it was the most uneasy feeling he ever felt in that place ever. Um, Drew Brees was out. Kamara was out. That game, they got buried. The Saints killed him with Jameis Winston and I don't even know who. Um, he said he felt that again this week. The defensive coordinator is not going to be there because of personal issues. So Everflus will be doing the defensive coordinator calls. Um, their offensive line is absolutely positively terrible. And I'm going to say this too. Nine times out of 10, free agent offensive linemen stink. And Nate Davis got dropped by Mike Bravel in Tennessee for a reason. Yeah. He's terrible. That was the mo- And Chase Claypool, everyone was right. He stinks. He is one okay. of the worst. He, he gave up. He quit several times. He pouted. He slammed shit. When there was... They were trying to do these screenplays because they had no choice, you know, and he would just get blown up. They were blown up. It was the most disgusting. Let me tell you this. They were the, I would have overreaction. I'm still overreacting because I would fire people after that. That was the worst thing I've ever seen for a home opener in a long, long time. It was disgusting. What? Yeah, Robin? I just wonder, are we ever going to get a chance to see if Fields can do it? Because mm, I got some words on him, too, on Justin Fields, by the way. Go ahead. You can finish, but I... I I feel like they still aren't putting... Other teams design plays to ease their quarterbacks, especially their young quarterbacks, into the game flow. They just didn't they didn't do it to him at all. First off, there's no game full of possibilities because the offensive line is ridiculous. They're absolutely ridiculous. So, and Nate Davis is a pig. Then you have, first of all, though, when he does have time, for some unknown reason, it, it, it doesn't appear, and I, and I was fighting against this because I want him to be good, it doesn't appear he sees anything but one thing. It only appears that he sees one thing and he throws one way. And if he doesn't throw one way, he takes off. Or he doesn't take off and get sacked. We're still there with him. We're still in that spot where we were when he first ever started a game. We're still there. Now, that might be because of what you said, Robin. It very well could be. He's, his growth has been stunted because they stink so bad. But, like, I don't know, Scott, if you saw any of them. He, he made a great long throw. The touchdown pass a great throw to, to Mooney. Beautiful throw. You know, he's got everything it appears, but there's tunnel vision. I don't know if he's got a chance to see any of them, but he will sometimes just lock on. And it's not me saying it either. When I'm hearing Greg Olson say it, Greg Olson don't want to say that. I know we don't want to say that. You can tell they don't want to say that about him because they want him to be the darling. But sometimes you just can't help it. I just, I really am convinced that it's because of the plays and it's because of what they put around him. What Chase Claypool is a disgrace. The way he played was ridiculous. I, the whole team. They got a good running. They got a good running game. They do have a good running game. Johnson's good. You got those guys. You get, they, they, Dante Foreman played well. Obviously, DJ Moore is good, and their tight ends are fine. You know. Right. Um. Their offensive coordinator, Luke Getz, he's, is a bum. Right. Um, I would fire him. I think I'd fire everyone. So now I'm overreacting wildly. It's Friday. <laughs> but I've been just waiting because no one cares about the Bears much. But 
where they sit right now, I can't ever bet them. Ever. They're going to lose to Tampa. I don't see how the fuck they beat Tampa. Tampa's defense actually looked good. Um, they look surprisingly good to me. I am going to say Tampa. I saw they played Tampa's good. going to win. To tell me the line again. It's Tampa minus two and a half. I'm going Tampa all day. If you guys want to consensusly bet I like Tampa, well anyway. Yeah, it's this is disgusting because Tampa stinks too. By the way, yeah. Let's not get a. You know what? Let's just get the draft. Baker, it's it's Baker Mayfield, is it not? It yeah. is the Bears though. Stand to have two of the top five picks this right. year, so that's, that's good. That's where I'm at already going into week two. Scott, is, you're lucky. Is, let's get the draft. <laughs> I'm already looking at the draft. Build again. Week one. Hey. Well, sorry. Jury's still out on my guy, I guess, enough with a lot of people. They've all turned their backs on him now. No. He's good. That team's good. They're good. They're going to be right there. It's ridiculous. People are ridiculous. And then the media yeah. just takes it and they pound it and pound it and pound it. And they find a soft spot or whatever they think they find. I don't get it. You know, I, I don't even want to. Off this podcast, I'm going to send you a message on something because. It makes no sense to me because Joe Burrow, they said nothing. He had 80 yards passing. Did they show his commercial with the headphones? <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't stand oh, let's get off this game before I have a stroke. I'm as red as this fucking uh, Ohio State shirt. Um, Indy, here's a great one. Oh, Christ. Indy is at Houston. Houston's minus one and a half. Yeah. Ooh. Richardson was is he healthy? He like playing it, like He's that. another one who's kind of got a a hard head where he tries to get contact. Yeah, yeah. I saw was, I saw the clips. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm curious if he's healthy or not this week. I don't know. I guess that would be because I didn't think CJ Stroud was bad. I mean, whatever. I mean, it was kind of just not 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 much. Yeah, it sounds like he's gonna play. He's gonna play. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you play this game? I probably wouldn't touch it. Yeah. But if I had to, forced right. to play money, I would take I'd take Indianapolis. Yeah. I would so have to play. a decent defense. Houston's yeah. defense is still suspect to me. I just think and then Anthony Richardson's that wild card. He yeah. that's a little bit of the edge that he holds over the other guy. So definitely. We're, me, we're I, I take Indy. If I had to. All right, so at four oh five we have two games. Um the first one well, the 49ers head into the greatest show on turf, the Rams. Uh, the Rams are plus seven and a half against the 49ers. Um, does anyone think that this is close, or does anyone like the points here? I mean, if it was 17 and a half, I wouldn't take the Rams. Right. I think they're going to get blasted by I the 49ers. I think the 49ers are a buzzsaw, dude. I like them. Do you like them? God, I hate that half point. You don't think you think it'll matter? You think they win by six against Nuka Noka, whatever the hell that ride receiver is? I don't even know. Puka Puka. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. My anything. thing is, it's not that I doubt. I would bet they got the, the best defense in the league. The money, I think on the money line on forty nine. So you're concerned that they're not going to win by a touchdown? Right, right. Well, what I, does that make you concerned? I'm curious. What makes you con- I, think that the Rams are any good? It's not that I think that the Rams are any good. It's just that the 49ers sometimes, I think, don't put up points when they don't have to. I don't know. What's-his-name looks good. Yeah. That kid looks good to me. That quarterback, I'm sold already. You were right, Scott. I'm I'm sold. He looked great. He did. Their defense is mean. This team's good. I think they won the Super Bowl, man. All right, well, we're gonna. I'll, I'll go with you guys on this. We're gonna consensusly go with the 49ers. Yeah. Um. Here's a bad game. Is this a? Is this where the four o'clock start? This or is no, four o five. Yes. Yeah. Four o five. This game here is the Giants. I don't know why they don't win this game. They're at Arizona. The Arizona's plus four. If the Giants can't beat them, then they should just wrap it up. What do you think, yeah, Scott? Really looked better last week than I really expected them to. Yeah. A lot better. Then I expected it to. This Me too. Suck. But if the Giants don't rebound on this one, man, that they're done. Something's wrong. Yeah. 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 I literally, yeah, I, I love the Giants in this. What's the spread? It's four. They're they're yeah, minus four. 
I'm not worried about that. I definitely go with the Giants. I think that they're one of many teams that we're going to see a whole different team in week two than we saw in week one. Yeah, Dallas was about Dallas was something. They really were. Speaking of Dallas, 425. The sad Jets with uh, Zach yeah. Wilson. Although their defense is awfully good, the Jets, too, by the way. So yeah. this is interesting. Dallas is minus yeah. nine and a half. Ooh, could that be a little too high? I love it. I'll totally take the Jets with that nine and a half points. I am, too. So consensusly, we'll That's take the nine and a half. Points. That, that good of a defense? The defense could put some points on the board, for Christ's yeah. sake. And I don't think that Zach Wilson is that bad. No, I think he can be serviceable, I yeah. think. Possibly. Maybe he learned enough from Aaron Rodgers that, you know, yeah. my dog. Hey, Philip Rivers is on the. Uh, there, there was a. Okay, yep. There was a serious question about Philip Rivers today. I was reading. Oh yeah, he's forty-one. I read Ben Roethlisberger. With that, he looked like. I know he looked like the ten. He looked like three hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, I know. I, I I can't imagine he's coming in. I read that um, Aaron Rodgers is been very involved with the team still i'm sure he is i mean this was this was not and it, i mean this was unbelievable i'm sure scott probably saw this but I, and i i didn't but i read it that um on mcafee i think it was he pretty much said that he's not retiring that he's mm-hmm. coming back yep and like he has said, to robert sala said that, yeah that he's been very involved with the team look you know who I realize is a smart kid? And yeah, I, I, actually, John, just to pause you real quick before you finish I, that thought, just to throw this knowledge out there. He also put it out there. I don't know why they would leave this hanging like that, that if they get into the playoffs, there's a chance he could be back by then. I don't understand why they let that hang there the way they did, but they did. Just, and I'm sorry, go on. I, didn't mean no, wow, I was just saying that Garrett Wilson, listening to him talk, and I never got to hear him talk at Ohio State. He's a smart kid. Wow. Really, really. And I felt bad a little for him because obviously he thought he had something. And now, you know, but he's, but he's a pretty good team guy. You could see he's – I like him. I like him, too. Um, I so like we, him as well. Out there. He's good. We got to – yeah, that catch. Oh, my God. He's, he's, he's going to be a phenomenal wide receiver for a while, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, if you draft if him you in, you fantasy, draft yeah. in fantasy, yeah. you got to be sick. Yeah. So, so – Philip Rivers is a uh, has been seriously discussed. I guess I was reading on Twitter um, at 41 years old, nine kids, nine kids later. So uh, interesting, right? I mean, who uh, Chad Henney? I mean, there. I was trying to think of guys, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, you don't, you know, Colt McCoy. I don't know. Them, they were trying to discuss them trading for Kirk Cousins today. I was, why would I was, the, oh god! Why would my? Why would the Vikings do that? That's stupid. No. Yeah. Because they look terrible. <laughs> yeah. So Justin Jefferson can quit, and all hell can break loose. Right. I mean, right. you know, yeah. yeah Start tanking already. I'm thinking if you're going to trade, trade for Trubisky, trade for that other guy Rudolph, maybe because they got two of them in Pittsburgh. Maybe see if one of them come in to be a backup to to Wilson. Um. Oh, let's see. Bills on here. Uh, from the Pittsburgh Sports Desk. Rodgers doesn't want to go out this way. He was on uh, – that injury never – Oh, he's saying if it would have been on grass. Sure. Oh, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Bill from the Pittsburgh Sports Desk. We were on his show. Yeah. We had a good time. Um, so we're going to go with the Jets plus the nine and a half. Definitely. And, Scott, I don't know of any – did you hear any names? Any backup? Any names of them – of other than the names, I guess we just threw out there. They never reported on anything that was based on any hearsay or any, you know, any other yeah. media people leaking anything. Nothing was really out there. I haven't heard anything. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel like one of the Steelers guys would make sense, only because Trubisky's mobile. It could possibly work, maybe for a little if you needed. He's a little right. bigger than Wilson. Um, he was in the playoffs. If it wasn't for double doink, he would have won a playoff game. You, uh, let let so. me ask your guys' opinion because right, yeah. I'm up in the air about it. Do you think that Zach Wilson, though, could have progressed enough or could progress with Aaron Rodgers helping him? New offensive coordinator, right? Yeah. I mean. Maybe. Anything's possible. Really, 
do you really think that Mason Rudolph were one Thanks, you know, is that much better than I'm just saying having him Wilson? as a backup to Wilson. Okay. But he needs a backup because there's a shot that he might go down himself. I mean, if yeah. you know, so right. But you'd want to have a legitimate one. I don't think you want to sit there with, you know, who you, is their backup? I couldn't tell you who their backup is. I don't know yeah, who their third string. I have no is. clue. Third I string mean, right now, I have no idea. Go get. You know what? Jacoby Brissett would be good for them if they yeah, could find him. Would be good. You know, a good. I mean, if they would just, they're going to have to. I don't know if you can win in the AFC East like this, though. I think it'll be hard with just turning and running because that's almost what they got to do. But could they make a playoff spot? Sure, with their defense, maybe. Um, they don't have one. They have no white. They have none. No. Oh, that's good. They have none. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it's on you, Zach. And then Woody can Woody can come down with the big chain he had on. Some Woody. <laughs> What? Oh, I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate right, that shit. Oh, wait, no, I'm what? sorry. Now they have uh, Tim Boyle. Oh, Tim Boyle. We remember him. Wonderful. Um, oh, you but, know what? As a matter of fact, while he while while uh, Rogers was on McAfee TV today, he said uh, he said guys were trying were reaching out to him, and as a matter of, right while he was during the show, he's up. Oh, there's Tim Boyle right there. So that's who oh. that. Well, I had no idea who the hell he was talking about. Now that makes sense. It makes sense. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, the uh, Washington football team is at Denver. Denver's minus three and a half. Denver's another AFC team that just, they didn't do what we expected against the Raiders and lost. Um, I didn't see a lot of that game. It was on when the Bears were on. And does anyone, what do we think? I, I yeah, Jerry Judy, there's a chance he may play this week, right? Yeah, there's a chance. That's that that's going to change me. Track. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, go look right. Yeah, check it out. Right? If, if Jerry Judy's playing, I'm going to take Denver. Okay. Let's Jerry play Denver. Judy returns to practice. Oh, that's a good sign then. If he returned um, to practice. Expected to play. Expected to play. Oh, yeah, give me Denver. I think I'm they got go Denver too. How do you feel about that? I like Denver too. At three and a half. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask this for both of you? Because I'm going to bitch now. <laughs> no, I won't bitch yet. Let's go to the eight twenty night game. Going to be a good. This is interesting to me. I love this game. Miami is at New England. Now wait, what? Wait a minute. What's the line on this game? Somebody. It can't be what I wrote down. I must have been. I must have been googly eyed or something fucked up because it is, can't be New England minus three. Is Scott yeah, there? Scott's looking. It's got to be the other way. They got to be plus three. I'm guessing. Yeah. I wrote something down dumb. If Miami's getting uh, where I'm games, going to we please bet the balance of the account on them. It can't be. I don't know how I wrote that down. The, Patri- the Patriots are plus three. Plus three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I don't think that's enough. I kind of want. I'd like a half point. Even if I got a half, maybe four. But I think the Dolphins win. I do too. What do you think, Scott? I think the Dolphins are going to destroy him. I think the Dolphins' offense is going to – this could be an epic if, – if Tua stays healthy, this could be an, a year for broken records, man. Isn't that amazing you know, with him? Who saw that they're coming? Unbelievable. They're just unbelievable. I don't know how you beat them. I, do, I don't know how you beat them. I don't yeah. – unless – if Tua's not in there, that's, well, little, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's it, you know? You know, it's, it's a good really, thing going. That Mike McDaniel's that guy's an impressive dude. Yeah. Weird, yeah. weird as shit, but super impressive, man. What's that, Robin? Um, it's really crazy. What? No, you know, hold on, never no. Mind. Go no what are you gonna say? No, go ahead. What's wrong? Go ahead. No, go ahead. What happened? I, I oh, false true. start. Uh, yeah, false start. Oh. She's like uh, Nate Davis. False start. <laughs> I thought all the video froze up for a yeah. minute. I'm like, no, you know, it's what happens when you're, you know, <laughs> sometimes you lose your train of thought when things happen when you're smoking things. Um, Monday night football. I don't understand this, Scott. Oh, what were you going to say? All right. Come on. It's extra disappointing that Aaron Rodgers. Um, got hurt speaking of that Miami New England game 
because I think that that was set up to be the best division in football. And I think it was going to be fun to see, especially with Mac Jones playing well. Yeah, and the wind played good. Yeah. Yeah, it's surprisingly. They, they didn't start out good. Yeah. They ended well. Um, and my, like you said, I mean, with Tua in there, and, and I just because the Bills didn't play well, well week one doesn't mean they're not going to play well. They still might only win, lose four games yeah. all year. So and, it doesn't really matter. And if the Jets sure. had Rodgers, a healthy Rodgers, it would be incredible to see. Oh, it would be better than the AFC West. Yeah, that's sure. what I mean. That division would really shake down. I'm really going to – honestly, I don't know if the Bills – honest. like I said, I think – I told John this earlier and call me an idiot, but I think if Rodgers stays in there, I think the Bills win the game. That's interesting. I, just yeah. think, I think things are different. Yeah. It's different enough, you know? And he didn't play it. Think about it. That He hardly played. He, that was his first playing, really. I right. mean, that would have been his first time. I mean, everything was just messed up there. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing was, they, they had all the, all the stars aligned for the Jets, and it feels like they just were like, they rolled it out bad. Right. Like it was just, they, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, God, I agree with you. I, I didn't think that, I didn't think that before, but. I got to ask you guys a question, a both of you. Why is Monday night, what is this Monday night shit with two games? I know. One starting at 7.15, one starting at 8.15. Yeah. What's the point though? Why wouldn't you have a 7.15 and a 10.15 or something? Green. That would make it's a little totally more different better. networks. Yeah, it's true. Different networks. That's right. No, Monday night, so seven fifteen. Uh, the Saints are at Carolina. Carolina's plus three. Um, I don't have a feeling much on this game. Uh, do you, Scott? Anything strong on this one? What was it? which one was it? I'm sorry, I was thinking Saints. about our and how we were going to have to double up our windows in order to watch both of them at the same time. <laughs> Saints Panthers. <laughs> what setting wise? tell you to use i'm sorry go ahead that's all right saints panthers saints are minus three at the panthers the saints but they weren't as impressive last week as i expected them to be yeah i'm not sold on this game i probably won't play it i I I maybe i will just it's monday and i'm sitting there but yeah we probably will if this was a regular sunday i don't think i'd mess any of these things that i I, i'm I'm probably not going to bet outcomes on a lot of this stuff so I, I'll put in a couple, but uh, usually I just stick to the prop bets, man. It's so much easier to predict those. To me, that's my right. bread and butter. That's how I make my money usually. So. Yeah. No, you're you're good at them, and we got to throw them out. When you get them, we'll throw them out to the people. Because... Yeah, I got to wait and see once things are finished by the end of the – by tomorrow, I'll, I'll know what I'm doing. This is a good game coming up, though, at 8-15, I think. Yeah. Uh, big rivalry, of course. The Cleveland Browns are minus two and a half at Pittsburgh, whose offensive line looked as bad as the Bears. It was that bad. They were just steamrolled. Now, yes. but they're playing very good team, though. So, I mean, that's going to happen. Um, San Francisco is much better than Green Bay. Um, oh, God. I, God, is Pittsburgh going to lose again at home to their rival? It's two and a half. What do you think, Scott? I want to hear your thoughts before I... <sighs> Get into Another this. one that they have, Pittsburgh was crowned the winner of the preseason. Yeah. And they look like shit. Offensive line uh, so bad. So bad. I love Cleveland. Yeah, I, think I, do too. I like him. I think I do too. Yeah, I do. DJ Watt can't do everything. It might no. look like he can, but he can't. And that's a it, shame that they're losing while they got a guy like was- that. Offense looked like they had the Bears problems in a lot of ways. They did. It was very similar. I mean, the guy couldn't – you can't see what Pickett's going to do because he's getting steamrolled. And then, you know, I don't know. It's – and I know Johnson's hurt, right? Deontay Johnson, I think, is hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. He's going to be out for a bit. He's going to be out for a little while. All right, so let's recap this. We like Jacksonville plus three and a half against the Chiefs. We like um, Seattle plus five at Detroit. We like the Bengals minus three and a half at home against Baltimore. We like the Packers getting a point and a half at Atlanta. Tampa Bay to murder Chicago um, minus two and a half. We like San Francisco um, minus the seven and a half at the Rams. The Giants are minus four at Arizona. We like them. We do take the Jets plus nine and a half against Dallas. 
we all consensusly think Denver at three and a half will beat the Red Soaps, the Washington team. On Sunday night, we like Miami against New England. Miami's minus three. And then one of the Monday night games, Cleveland minus two and a half at Pittsburgh. Last week, guys, and I didn't put this up. I'll put it up now. I thought we had a hell of a week, as you can see. Hey, uh, you forgot our music. I know. I forgot our music today. Um, oh. <laughs> NFL, NFL, six and two. College football, five and one. And what I had did um, this week is I got four more games that I like. And then you guys can chime in if there's anything you like. I lo- and I got two big lines and two little ones. And I love Kansas minus 28 against Nevada. Their quarterback's awfully good, Jalen Daniels. I love Kansas. I like Minnesota plus seven and a half at North Carolina. I like Georgia minus 27 against South Carolina. I saw South Carolina was losing like for almost a quarter and a half, two quarters and a half against Furman, 14-7. I like Georgia. I don't think it's enough minus 27. And Arizona State plus three over Fresno State, who also had to go to two overtimes to beat Eastern Washington. And Drew Pine is started. I hope is starting for Arizona State. So I like Arizona State. I like Georgia. I like Minnesota. I like Kansas. Good game tomorrow, guys. Early is Tennessee at Florida. Joe Milton there for Tennessee, the quarterback against the oh god, the guy who transferred from Wisconsin. His last name is Mertz, and um. That could be good. Florida's plus five and a half. So you could, yeah, right. you could like, that's going to be a good game. I, because Florida's always a great, but hey, did you see something? Did you ever see, Scott, what it looks like for Virginia Tech before they start a game? Did you, did oh, you ever yeah, see before yeah. they come out of the tunnel? I got to show you this. It is the most, I, I couldn't even imagine what it must be like to be in that crowd because they start playing um, Metallica. Um, the Sandman fucking song that they used to do for Mariano Rivera. But there's 100,000 there, and the, they're, all the kids are jumping up and down, singing and screaming. That has really? to be insane. I got to show it to you. I, it yeah. must shake. It has the to city. shake. Yeah, Blackbird or whatever the hell it is must be shaking because I there's 100,000 people in there. That song is blasting, and they're all singing it, and they're bouncing oh up, and, up and down. I would see that. I would go to. Have you ever been to the stadium? What's that? Are they in the stadium? Yeah. Oh, that shit's got to be shaking, dude. Have you ever been to major college at all? Uh, a major college? Game? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Me neither. No, I want to go to one. I do too. I, I really, someday we should do that. What a trip. This, we, we should take a trip. experience that once. What's yeah. that? Yeah, we should take a trip. <laughs> we could have spitball and sports. We could head off to... Where's the closest place to where? See, there's not even, there's no good college football for us. Well, let's go to Ohio State. Have to well, go to Columbus. the closest for us be either Ohio, which. Columbus. Yeah. Penn, Penn State. Or Penn State. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'd have to go to Columbus. Yeah. But there's some really great stuff. I mean, I, I'm going to send it to you. It's really cool if you watch this thing. I'll send it to you now. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. No doubt. Um, so, Scott, if you so, have what? College wise, I haven't had a chance to look at the lines yet. But I will tomorrow morning. I like to do my college betting on Saturday morning, so I will put out who you like, what I like for tomorrow. So look for that. Now, I wouldn't be surprised out there as you guys are watching. You know how, like we said, the, the I'm sure the Bills and the and the, these teams will get better. I'm I'm sure I'll get my ass kicked. It's like a stat correction. So be <laughs> real careful, man, with these picks because we were good last week. You figure, fuck, we were uh, eleven and three. So that that's pretty good. Scott, what do you got going on this week? Going to see some boxing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night is boxing, and then Sunday, uh, my daughter and I will be at the home opener. What time do you guys head out for that one? You know, that's a good question. I think probably, so this lot we're going to, I guess, opens up at 7, so we'll probably leave here at like 6. Yeah. Those dudes are crazy. <laughs> they want to serve. They want to rock and roll, dude. They want to start drinking shit at 7 a.m. You know what I mean? It gets a little out of control. I myself, I play Scotty the Grown Up. Right. That's not bad. Don't let everybody else get all tweaked early on. I'll be hung. Then I'd be hung over and I won't even want to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I get miserable. Do you know what you're eating at this event? So that's a good question. Because the place that the RV is parked at, we're in a, some new lot that's a private lot or something like that, something of the sort. 
and it's got a bar that's inside, outside. You can order food if you want to. So I don't know if we're not now including food or if it's just an option. So. Right. Nice. Right. So you're going to have some video maybe for us on your, so I can yeah. share it. Okay. Sure. Sure. Post yeah. pictures of the food. I like food people pictures. love to watch it. Last time when I was, when you were at a game, I don't remember which one last year, but I, whatever you oh, had, okay. I shared it there and it was some video. Jeremy from WGR was there. That was that massive pig roast that we had. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot of, and weren't you drinking out of oh. a bowling ball sometime at some point? Oh, dude, we did that. We ran the gamut, man. It was the last game of the season. So me and my daughter said that we were going to go around. Uh, I said, we'll go around and try to run into as many of these characters that we know of that we can. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there's some of them that hang out in the park a lot. So we went over to see the Pinto where they were cooking in the on the top of the Pinto. Right. And then they had the filing cabinet and shit. And, all, and I was like, this just looks disgusting. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Fine, it's not for me. Whatever. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Then I then I'm doing a shot out of a dirty bowling ball. I mean, it was fucking gross. But well, hey, you're broke. having a good time with your daughter. That's yeah, fun. That's awesome. awesome. And then we met Ketchup Ron or whatever or Pinto Ron. Oh, oh Lord. He didn't get ketchup and mustard shot all over himself. They they were the ESPN was there. Fitzpatrick yeah. was over there. That's they cool. were doing like it's because it was getting close to the playoffs and shit like that. And, you know, Bill's Mafia gets popular at that time of year. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's good. It's a good time, man. You and your daughter are having fun. And I and when you do get the video, I'll put it on our so that people okay. can see it because it's fun. Yeah, I really yeah. want to see what the mafia does. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to catch some crazy shit if I can. There's there's always usually something. I hope I got my phone out in time. All right, Scott. Enjoy the boxing and the football. Yeah. Have a right, good weekend, guys. Yeah. You too. Take it easy. Yep.